Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using Silt Authentication. So from this video session guys, we are going to create a new exciting course of Code Igniter 4 and that is API development using Silt Authentication. So in this very first video, we will see that what we will learn inside this whole course. If I back to slide, so inside this whole course, we have divided into three different sections. In the first section, we will see basics of Code Igniter 4, where we will cover all about installation, what is Spark CLI, this is the newly, newly added feature inside Code Igniter 4, so we will understand about this latest feature, all about we will understand about controllers, model, route, route group and route namespace. After getting all the basic concepts of this code igniter 4, then we'll go and learn about filters, migration, seeder, query builder concept, and model methods. So overall, we are going to cover a lots of things inside the basic section of code igniter 4 where we'll get some confidence to work over our API development processes. So after completing this first section that is basics of Code Igniter 4, then we will move our the API development process and that will be phase number 1. So inside this first phase of API development, we will create API without using any authentication. So in the very first phase of API development, we will not use any type of authentication. So here, inside this first phase of API development, we will create APIs for CRUD based application. Like for create operation, where we will use insert command to select all the data, we will use select command to update any data, we will use update query statements and finally we will use all about delete statement. So here, inside this first phase of API development, we will create Code Igniter for APIs but without using any authentication. So after getting concept of basics of Code Igniter 4 and first phase of API development, then we will go and proceed over API development using Silt Authentication. Inside second phase of API development, we will create our registration process API, login API, profile API and many more. So what is the difference between this first phase of API development and second phase of API development? So in first phase of API development, we will not use any authentication. Those APIs will be simpler to use and also very easy to create. But here, this is second phase of API development where we'll include a authentication concept and that is by using Silt Authentication. So this is token based API development processes where we'll include the concept of registration, login, profile and many more. So inside this second phase of API development also include a concept of project module. So here inside the second phase of API development, we'll have two different modules. The first module will be user module. By using that, we'll create registration API, login API and profile API. Along with user module, also we'll have our second module as project module. So when we create APIs for the second phase of API development, then we'll see the relation between user module and the project module. So overall, inside this whole course of API development, you are going to learn the complete concept of Code Igniter 4 starting from its basics concept along with the API development processes. So overall, the course skeleton or the course structure is too much good to get all the concept of API development processes. So I hope we'll meet in the very next session. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.